but I'll do this in kind of in chunks. I'll do a 2,000, I'll go up to maybe about 3,500, and then I'll go up here to maybe about 45 or 5,000. We'll go in and we'll try to uh, hit different areas of the table. Different RPM points will require different spark timing. We'll find 2,000 RPM, we might be at something like 20 or 25 degrees timing. 3,000 RPM, we might be at something like 30 or 35 degrees timing, and then up at 5,000, we might be at something like 35 degrees timing or 38 degrees timing. Usually, as you go up in engine RPM, you can go and increase your timing a little bit more. Um, I'll show you the technique then to build out the rest of the table. I'm only going to be able to hit our columns four through probably the columns about seven. So this is going to be the area I'm going to focus in. Not on column eight, so column eight, nine, and 10, I'm gonna be treating that as my full throttle area of operation. So my columns one through seven, what I'm focused on, again, I can't hit columns one through four very effectively on the dyno here. So I'll be using the data here as I'm gonna figure it out and then populate it back into the rest of my table. I'll show you that process, it's really easy. So we're out of gear right now. I'm gonna bring it up and uh, bring it up to 2000 RPM, hold my foot flat, make sure we've stabilized everything and then start to add my spark timing. Put it into gear here. And let's go ahead and start. And I hold my foot flat right now. We're about 15% 15, 15 right there. I grab my area, so my columns four through seven. And I'm gonna do control I. Watching my torque output on the dyno. We can see as I'm adding it in here, pretty large jumps in torque. Seeing there about 70 foot pounds of torque. Our spark timing here, bump it up a little bit more, a couple more degrees. 71, 72, let's bump it a little bit more. Uh, it looks like it may have lost a little bit. Let's go back the other way, let's go to 25. We can see that there is a clear indication about 25 is a sweet spot right there. Let's go up here to, let's go about 3,000. Let's bring it up a little bit higher in RPM. Same deal, we're gonna go right in this range. I'm gonna highlight my, my air values and do control I. So let's see, we're at 52, 53 pound feet of torque. Bump it up here, I mean 60, keep going. I'm just hitting control I, 63, 64, 65. Let's keep going here. A little bit higher. In the 70s, a little bit higher. 69, 70, a little bit higher here. So we're going actually starting to lose a touch. Let's go back down here, control D. So 30, 32 degrees, looks about good. I'm gonna to go to my next point of operation. Let's go to 5,000. Highlight that range. And let's go ahead and try this now. Add our timing in. Big jumps into this in torque. And the torque is pretty much flattening out right now. I'm not seeing any huge differences. About good. Let's say about 36 degrees. So we went in and we figured out about where maximum brake torque is going to be. So the dyno is really nice. We can do that pretty quickly. But again, you can still accomplish the same task with cruise control. So now that we have ballpark values.